the Public Policy Forum is a forum that LACNIC has that is free and open to everyone. You don't need to be a member, you don't need to belong to the region to participate in this forum. We are the moderators, Sergio Rocas and Thomas Lynch. These are uh, email addresses during this session. We apply the code of conduct for LACNIC's community, and that is the link for those who wish to register in the mailing list. That is the QR that you can scan, and otherwise you go to that address on the slide. So we invite you to participate from wherever you are. And I repeat, you can work in a big corporation. You can be someone who's only interested in, in the internet and works in other, on other topics. So you don't need to be a technical expert. You don't have to know every single bit of every single package to be able to participate. But if you wish to promote improvements to our manual and to our policy process, the policy development process consists of six stages. One is as initial discussion where a new proposal is presented. Then eight weeks go by for discussing this proposal. They have to be presented at the forum once. And then we have what we call the first determination of consensus where the moderators within two weeks determine whether there is consensus or not. If there is consensus, we go to a final comment session, which lasts four weeks. There we analyze the comments received from the community. And then we have one week to determine the final consensus. If consensus is achieved, this goes on to the board. The board can ratify this or not. This time we had a proposal that passed the first and second consensus but this was not ratified by the board. If it is ratified, it goes over to implementation. So in any of the stages when consensus is not reached, or if the author of the proposal determines that they wish to submit a second version, you start the entire cycle once again. So what is consensus? And it is the big question. We understand consensus as something that is not a vote. You can have 1,000 persons who agree, but there is a voice in the desert that states that that is not the case and that has this has to be done differently. And that comment is very useful to determine whether there is consensus in the community or not. So we ask all voices to once again make comments and state what they think of each proposal. So what happened since the last forum in Santa Cruz? There were several proposals. One is like 2022 one. This reached consensus and was implemented. 2022 did not reach consensus. 2022, 2023 did not reach consensus. And this year we get a new version, 2022-3. This is the one I mentioned. This reached consensus but was not ratified by the board. So we'll have a new version today of that same proposal. 2021-5 did not reach consensus. 2022-4 reached consensus, election of the PDP chairs and was implemented at the end of 2022. And a recent one which has just been implemented is to enable the delegated block receptors to sign the ROAs 2020-10, which was implemented a few days ago. So I now give the floor to Sergio. Thank you, Thomas. So now let us 
review the life cycle when submitting a proposal. The authors will have 10 minutes to submit their proposals to the community. After that, we have two minutes to measure the temperature in the room, namely, we're going to make a survey. Those who are connected remotely will also have the chance. After that, we have five minutes so that the staff shares with us the impact analysis for that proposal, and then eight minutes of open microphones for Q and A's. Those who are in the room, we have, for those who are in the room, we have three microphones. <coughs> and please state your name, your country, and the organization you represent. Those who are following us by Zoom have the Q and A bot bot button at the bottom of the screen where you can write your question or you can also have the option of raising your hand and Franco will unmute your microphone. So this is the user's manual for the public policy forum. Each speaker should speak in their native language. We have simultaneous interpretation and simultaneous transcription. And languages available are English, Spanish, and Portuguese. So speakers, please use your native language. We respect. We ask you to respect the allocated times so we can finish on time. And then we can go over to lunch. In the effort of trying to listen to everyone, we'll prioritize the diversity of voices. So those people who haven't made any comments and haven't used the microphones will be prioritized compared to those who have already used the microphone. This is the agenda for this forum. We have five proposals that will be submitted at 11.45, namely right away. We'll have the proposal 2026 version 4. The name of the proposals is Miscellaneous Modifications to the PDP at 12.10. We'll be presenting the Proposal Act 2022-3 version 2. The name is Managing Recovered Resources that were originally part of the reserve for critical infrastructure. And at 12.30, we'll be presenting the Proposal Act 2023 version 5. The name is Impact Analysis is Mandatory. Shortly before lunch, we'll be inviting the Jorge Villa to present the ASO report. Then we'll have lunch and I ask you to be punctual because after lunch, we'll have the assembly. So at 2 p.m., please be back. The proposal that will be submitted after lunch is LAC 2023 2 version 1. The name is including IPv6 in section 5 of the manual at 2.25. We'll be presenting the proposal 2023 1 version 1, and the title of this proposal is Clarifying the Definition of Consensus. After that, we'll have 30 minutes for open microphone. This is at 2.50 p.m. to have a debate on all the proposals, and at 3.20, we close the forum. So having said that, we'll now start with the presentation of the proposals.